Twitter can be a risky place if you're a celebrity, as old tweets can resurface years later that will get you cancelled in the present day. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into the top 10 celebrity tweets that came back to haunt them. But first make sure to subscribe if you're new here and want to see more. In at number 10, Alec Baldwin. It has just been reported that Alec Baldwin accidentally shot and killed director of photography Helena Hutchins and injured director Joel Souza on the New Mexico set of Rust. A statement about the incident said, quote, There was an accident today on the New Mexico set of Rust involving the misfire of of a prop gun with blanks. In light of this tragic incident, an old tweet of Baldwin's is going viral. In this tweet, he posted a link to a news article reporting that a cop had shot and killed a suspect after the pair had a struggle and the suspect grabbed for the cop's gun. Along with that link, Baldwin tweeted, quote, I wonder how it must feel to wrongfully kill someone. Now people online are posting Baldwin's haunting tweet from 2017, along with the news headlines covering his accidental shooting. And at number 9, Lindsay Lohan. Back in 2012, Hurricane Sandy was due to rip through New York City. Nobody was quite sure how bad the hurricane would be, but the city prepared for the worst. In the midst of this, Lindsay shared a tweet saying, quote, Why is everyone in such a panic about hurricane, I'm calling it Sally, question mark? Stop projecting negativity, think positive, and pray for peace. Firstly, I don't even know why someone would tweet something like that before the event. Like, we have no idea how bad that is going to be, so why would you say that? And on top of that, Hurricane Sandy ended up being a huge disaster. It caused roughly 72 deaths and more than $50 billion in damage across the United States, including flooding many New York streets that were close to the water. Also thinking positively will not stop a hurricane from doing damage anyway. In at number 8, Kanye West. Back in 2020, Kanye went on one of his many Twitter rants and roasted the Kardashian family. He told his fans that Kim and Chris tried to lock him up and that the movie Get Out was based on his life. He also tweeted, quote, Chris, don't play with me. You and that Kanye are not allowed around my children. Y'all tried to lock me up. But after Kanye's divorce from Kim Kardashian, it seems he's had a change of heart about Chris, as Chris has helped Kanye to communicate with Kim during their divorce. Force. Sources say Kim and Kanye are in a really good place right now, and he's spending a lot of time with the kids. The source added, quote, Kanye knows Chris is to thank for getting to this better place with Kim. So obviously Kanye must regret publicly calling out Chris and Corey earlier. In at number 7, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart's biggest dream as a kid was to host the Oscars, and in 2019, he achieved that goal and was asked to host the awards. But not long after, old homophobic tweets of his from 2011 resurfaced. One tweet said, quote, Yo, if my son comes home and tries to play with my daughter's dollhouse, I'm going to break it over his head and say in my voice, stop, that's gay. The Oscars asked him to apologize, but since he had addressed these exact tweets in the past, he refused to bow down to cancel culture and ended up stepping down from the role, saying, quote, I made the choice to step down from hosting this year's Oscars. This is because I do not want to be a distraction on a night that should be celebrated by so many amazing, talented artists. He did end up making a formal apology as well, though. And at number six, James Gunn. The director, best known for Guardians of the Galaxy, was canceled after old offensive tweets resurfaced. It started when Gunn defended fellow liberal star Mark Duplass for standing up against commentator Ben Shapiro. Gunn tweeted that he supported Duplass's freedom of speech, while adding that even Ben Shapiro's mother should unfollow him. Shapiro's followers then dug up old tweets of Gunn's. These tweets included jokes about assault on women and even underage relationships. One tweet read, quote, I like when touch me in my silly place. Sorry if we had to bleep anything, but the tweet is describing a very inappropriate intimate relationship if you catch my drift. The backlash from these tweets resulted in Gunn being fired from the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Many celebrities defended Gunn, and he also apologized, but he still lost his job. However, he is now back for the third film. Halfway at number 5, Blake Shelton. After Blake was deemed people's sexiest man alive in 2017, users on Twitter decided to dig up past tweets that were very offensive. The tweets were called sexist and racist. One tweet from 2011 and read, quote, So I just figured out a great excuse for my sick fantasy about Dakota Fanning. I thought she was Amanda Seyfried. There were tons and tons of other tweets. One trashed a cab driver who couldn't speak English, while another said his ex-girlfriend was a, quote, fat, ugly he later apologized, but the apology wasn't much better. He said in part, quote, Anyone that knows me also knows I have no tolerance of hate of any kind or form. Can my humor at times be inappropriate and immature? Yes. Hateful? Never. That said, I deeply apologize to anybody who may have been offended. And at number four, Trevor Noah. When Trevor Noah was announced as the new Daily Show host in 2015, some old tweets of his resurfaced. Some were labeled anti-Semitic and anti-Israel, causing backlash for the star. One 2014 tweet read, quote, Almost bumped a Jewish kid cross the road. He didn't look before crossing, but I still would have felt so bad in my German car. Another said, quote, Messi gets the ball and real players try to foul him, but Messi doesn't go down easy, just like Jewish chicks. Although critics online were asking for Noah to be fired, Comedy Central stood by him and did not boot him from the role. The network said, quote, 
Like many comedians, Trevor Noah pushes boundaries. He is provocative and spares no one, himself included. To judge him or his comedy based on a handful of jokes is unfair. In at number three, Chrissy Teigen. If you guys remember, Chrissy Teigen went through a massive cancellation after it was revealed that she bullied multiple celebrities over the years, even coming after children at some points. Courtney Stodden first brought this to the public's attention and revealed that Chrissy tweeted, "Quote: My Friday fantasy, you dirt nap, mmm baby." Another one said, "Go to sleep forever." Both of these directed at Courtney. All of Chrissy's unearthed tweets were incredibly disgusting and made the entire internet turn on her. Chrissy decided to leave the internet for an undisclosed amount of time to reflect on her words and actions. But the time she took away only turned out to be a measly 23 days. She couldn't even pretend that she was actually going to change her ways and work on herself. Her return to the internet was not taken well, and many of her fans have stopped supporting her because of it. In at number two, Iggy Azalea. Iggy was set to perform at the 2015 Pride Festival that was being held in Pittsburgh until past tweets resurfaced of hers that were labeled racist. And homophobic. One tweet said, quote, When guys whisper in each other's ears, I always think it's kinda homo. Another said, quote, Bitches in LA be stick skinny, to the bone. White, black, Mexican. Okay, so maybe not Mexican. Iggy also made a racist tweet about Asian people pretending not to speak English. After the tweets resurfaced, Iggy decided to pull out of the festival. She apologized in a statement where she said that she used words that she shouldn't have when she was younger. In at number one, Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes got her start as a hugely successful child star, even working into her teenage years and young 20s. But in 2013, she went down a bad path and started abusing substances, which led to her going on a tweeting rant where she posted offensive and outrageous things. One tweet insinuated that she wanted to sleep with Drake in words I can't even say on YouTube. They were so, yeah, not safe for work. Then she followed that up with tweets calling Drake, along with Barack and Michelle Obama, ugly while also insulting Drake's mom. She also tweeted hate to Rihanna, telling her she is ugly and trying to be white, along with saying Chris Brown hit her because she was not pretty enough. After these insane tweets were posted, she started getting help for her substance issues and mental health. Health. So that is all for the list today guys, let me know your thoughts on anything below. But before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from my last video on Kim solving a case. Johnji said, I can't believe something as simple as a photo helps solve this case. It really is crazy, I just can't believe that they didn't have another photo of it without Kim. That's the part that I don't really understand, why that was the photo that solved it, like couldn't they have another photo, or I think it's just like maybe they didn't realize this thing existed until they saw Kim with it, I don't I don't really understand the full thing, but it's very crazy. And I'm Dangerous said, Kim the crime connoisseur, all with K's of course. Next up on our list of mysteries, finding her diamond earring that fell off in the ocean. Thankfully that mystery was solved very, very quickly. I think Kylie found it, or one of the girls found it uh, in the ocean, but that, oh, that clip of her crying will never not be funny. <laughs> then Nikki said, so Kim didn't solve it. She just posted a photo that the people slash person saw who was able to solve it. Yeah, so Kim didn't actually have her like detective glasses on and solve it. Uh, you know, she has much, tons of other things going on. She doesn't even have time to solve the case, but yeah, photo of her with this item solved the case. But I mean, she still was credited even by the DA that she was responsible for, or a big hand in solving it, so there's that. All right guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and you wanna see more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media and I'll catch you all in the next one.